I have one goal, to win the Champions League with Ipswich down. But up until now, this was basically impossible because the board never backed us. They constantly sold our players. But after seeing us win the Premier League, something changed. The board started to back us. And this season, they finally gave us money to make some spectacular signings. But in return, they won that Champions League trophy. So far, though, we've done our job topping our Champions League group. But we have a problem. A Real Madrid-related problem. Real Madrid want to sign Matthew Mitchell, our youth academy prospect. We've been the ones who've developed him, got him to an 84 overall. But I do understand where he's coming from. And I can see why he wants to join Real Madrid. Victor Boniface is playing for them, but I'm sure he rates himself higher than him. Although Boniface, I think, is the player that knocked us out last season. I think the issue here is clear. Mitchell is kind of tired of playing second fiddle to Enketia. He wants to be that number one guy, the starter. Just like how we've made Henry Walker basically our starter this season. Mitchell believes he's ready and to be fair, based on his stats in the Champions League where he's been playing the most, three goals, four assists, you can't fault him for wanting more. But guys, there's no way I'm letting Matthew Mitchell go. The good news is there is no release clause on his contract. Let's have a chat with him and see if there's a way we can convince him to, you know, give everything for Ipswich because, hey, he's an Ipswich boy through and through. Boss, I'll be honest, I want to play every single game. I feel I'm ready. I get that, Matthew, but Enketia just has more experience. I've scored three goals in four Champions League games. If you want to win the Champions League, you need me. Okay, fair enough, Matthew. Here's what we'll do. I'll play you in every single Champions League game. Enketia can play the Premier League games. Would that be fine? That'll work for this season, but next season, you've got to make me a guaranteed starter then. Otherwise, I will have to leave. Okay, a deal's a deal. Let's win the Champions League now. Okay, guys, I think for now we've diffused the situation. Matthew Mitchell will be the one to play Champions League games. And I think when the big Champions League games come about, this is going to be our team. Would have loved to maybe make a few more improvements, but 14 million is all what we've got. I'm just glad we don't have to sell anyone. And there you go, boys. The transfer window is shut. Our focus now is the Champions League. Bro, it's such a relief that unlike last season, we've got Villarreal in the round of 16. I'm really hoping this can be an easy one for us. Oh, but Sancho is not fully fit. That's going to be a bit of a miss. I'm going to put Hutchinson. Let's, let's give him a run out. He's been, of course, waiting to get his chance here. When Sancho unfit, this might be his opportunity. But you know what, guys? One thing I'm definitely not going to do in this game is underestimate our opponents. It's the Champions League. Everybody's here on merit. And here's Mitchell after all the contract dispute. He's got his first chance to score, and he's put it wide. To be fair, it was a good save. Wait, wait, wait. We've nope. just been opened up. Patterson with the big save. I told you, man. Champions League, we cannot underestimate anyone. Oh, go on, Matthew Mitchell. There's his space. One thing that his age gives him is that extra bit of pace. Tries to square it, though, which was a mistake. Bro, I'm looking at Solot at the box right now, and that man is an absolute unit. He's huge. Can't let any crosses come to him. But right now, though, they might have a chance here to score when defending well. Oh, Archie Gray has managed to get through. Yeah, I see a run being made. Walker, Easy. and how is that saved? I see that run being made from Matthew Mitchell. His movement has been spot on, and the pass this time really good as well. But Walker can't finish. Bro, I'm starting to wonder if we had Chaplin and Enketia there, would they have gotten the job done? But you know what? Let's not doubt these two youngsters. They've been the ones delivering very consistently for us. And here's Henry Walker. But that's not acceptable. Second half now, and we are still unable to find that breakthrough. We've had chances, so I don't know what's not working. Maybe we're missing Sancho. Bradley now finds the ball. Archie Gray. There's Jao Gomez. We're moving the ball around really nicely. Sami Endo with the chance, and he opens up the scoring. That was such a well-worked goal. Yes, Sami Endo, he deserves a lot of credit, man, because when others don't perform, he comes in with a run like that, and now Walker could score. It's off the post. Hutchinson, still a chance, and Hutchinson takes his opportunity. Let's go, we're doing it now. No, 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 no. let's not concede. Patterson, big save. Absolute carnage, what happened there? Wait, the game just got over? The ref blew the whistle? Um, what, what just happened? Yep, we're just entering a press conference. I guess we just won 2 nil. With that first leg result, boys, I'm not worried at all. I think we're knocking out Villarreal. There you go. And look at that, boys. Real Madrid have been knocked out. See, Mitchell, that's why you don't join them. You've got a better chance of winning the Champions League with us. Okay, guys, we've gotten a very interesting draw in Juventus. 
And they're doing pretty darn well in the Serie A. Second, just three points off. This is a good Juve team. But for this game, Romero's having fitness issues? I don't get it, man. Why are some of our players just unable to maintain their stamina for these big games? We're gonna have to play Chalaba instead. Or do I go with Kwanzaa? You know what? The extra bit of pace. I know he's a bit unhappy with his game time, but this might be his chance to prove himself. This is the first time we're playing a Champions League quarterfinal, boys. I'm freaking ready for this. Oh, it's also good to have Sancho because you know that dribbling that he's got is going to create so many chances. Look at him weave in and out, trying the Elastico. That was a bit too much. Mitchell finding space, and that's what he does. Even when you don't do the power shot with him, his shot power is so good he can score them from anywhere. We take the lead against Juventus. A few moments later. No, 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 we can't let them score. Please, what is this defending? And Juventus have equalized. Well, they've got way more Champions League experience than us. They're not going to make this one easy. And by the way, I just realized we're facing a certain familiar face in Kobe Mainu. Don't want to be losing to him. It's Jao Gomez, our CDM. <laughs> Look at him dribble the ball. That's what you get for having a Brazilian in the side. Plays it nicely for Sarmiento. Good first touch. Proper chance here for Sarmiento. It's saved. Oh, Henry Walker's managed to go through here. Can he square this one? He does find Gray what a finish. Guys, the presence of mind for Gray to place the shot there. I mean, just look at the replay. Walker did brilliantly, but I'm so impressed with Gray. He gave the keeper no chance with a finish like that. And now Juventus are going to try and push for another goal. We could kill this tie in the first leg itself. Nope. Jaden Sancho, no, he should have scored that. Okay, no problem. We still have a chance here. We still have a chance. Oh, Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell, that might be... One of the craziest moves I've ever seen. What just happened? Did the game kind of glitch? I think it did. I think it did. It didn't let us see the replay. But there's no way we're not seeing this replay, boys. Oh, that was beautiful from Matthew. And with that, boys, 3-1 against Juventus in the first leg. I'm hoping it's enough. Oh, it looks like it's just about enough. We lost the second leg 2-1, but on aggregate, we're through. Okay, the luck is definitely coming our way because we've drawn Roma in the semis. Oh, they knocked out Milan. There's also Man City still left in the Champions League, and you bet they're going to be in the final waiting for us. But wait a minute, Jaden Sancho is injured? Did he suffer this in training? It's a three-week-long injury. He's out with a pulled hamstring. Here I was talking about how we had good luck. And yep, Sancho's going to miss both games against Roma. He should be back in case we make it to the final, but now we've got a big decision to make. Who plays instead of Sancho? Do we just trust Hutchinson, who, by the way, if you remember, did score in the round of 16 when he was given a chance? Do I go with Captain Connor Chaplin? He's got pace. He's actually faster than Hutchinson. And you know what? I've got a sneaky feeling. This way we can implement Chaplin in the side. Get our leader back on the pitch. For the first leg, we're going to try this out. Here we go, boys. Champions League semifinals. The draw has done us a bit of a favor, but we need to get the job done on the pitch too. Oh, Roma have a proper chance. I'm blocking with Romero. That's a brilliant bit of defending, but he gets pushed off the ball. Still a chance here for Roma. Somebody please put in a challenge. What are we doing finally to answer big gets that? That was a bit of a warning for us. We cannot underestimate Roma. Honestly, guys, first 30 minutes, it's been all Roma. They should have been 1-0 up. All we've been doing in this first half is defend. This is really not good. Roma actually have some ballers as well. I'm seeing Jao Felix, Cola Muani all playing for them. Look at Felix here. Yeah? This is a bad situation to be in. We survive. That first half was an absolute disaster. Things have got to be better in the second. First time I'm seeing Connor Chaplin nope. on this left side, but I don't know if it's working, boys. Maybe Hutchinson would have been the better pick down this left side because, yup, Chaplin is struggling. Oh, they've opened this up brilliantly and fair enough. Roma take the lead. Bro, they've actually been so dominant. This Roma team is no joke, man. They've got some serious ballers in their side. If we keep the scores 1-0 or even somehow get a goal, I think in the second leg we can do something. Bro, they've got Frankie de Jong too. What is this Roma super team? On a chaplain. Oh, bro, is legit struggling. He keeps hold of the ball. Let's get him into central areas. That's where he can really do something. But nope, it's not clicking. And that, guys, is full-time. Champions League semifinals and we're the goal down. Guys, I think we really missed Jaden Sancho. And now I'm really confused. I don't think we need to play Chaplin there. Maybe I just need to trust Hutchinson. He's a natural winger and that might legit be the play. The second leg begins against Roma. We're playing against the clock. 
We're a goal down. This is our toughest challenge yet. Conceding first is not an option, man. But Roma are making life really difficult with their passing. We just can't seem to get the ball off them. It's it's so difficult. Finally, though, we're able to move forward here with Hutchinson. Lovely pass for Walker. He's got the pace as well. Go on, Walker. Henry Walker's made a lovely run. He's going to spread it inside. Mitchell slides home. We get the equalizer. Ipswich down. Keep fighting. Now the pressure's on Roma too. That's what we wanted. It's going to be an interesting game. Okay, unless we just let them score. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we've done. Bro, this Roma super team looks so tough to beat. There's Hutchinson, who's actually been really good in this game, making a lovely run down this left side. And he tried to score there. Came so close as well. Oh, Christian Romero has done really nicely there. We might have a chance here, but Mitchell, what was that for a pass? That's the first half done, guys. Everything to play for in the second. Oh, we might have a chance here. Mitchell, gonna go for nope. the power shot. No, 99% of those chances go in, but the one chance that he had to miss was that one. But we can't let our heads drop, boys. There is still time to do something. What a pass for Hutchinson. The first touch was a bit dodgy, but we're still moving the ball around nicely. Can we please get into a shooting position? Mitchell, Walker again. He needs to dribble a bit. Still Walker. It's off the post. I can't believe it. Bro, I'm starting to lose hope, man. We, we seem to have absolutely no luck here. Maybe Sarmiento could go on one of those runs, but he gets blocked. We're moving the ball around so nicely. Finally, Mitchell has got a bit of space. Looks for Walker. Walker can't get the shot off. They're defending so well. This could be one of the last chances of our game here. Jao Gomez driving the ball forward. Does so well there. And I see Mitchell making a lovely run. Has to be the chance. And Mitchell scores. We get the equalizer in the 87th minute. We are still alive. Okay, if we could not concede literally after scoring, it would be nice. Romero clears it away. And this game is going to extra time in the Champions League semi-finals. You know what, guys? This is the perfect time to make changes. We're going to bring on Chaplin. Bring on Enketia. Mitchell and Walker have done their job. Let the others shine too. Oh, credit to Hutchinson. He's put in a terrific performance dribbling through. We should have started him in the first leg as well. And we might have a chance here to wrap things up. Enketia didn't score. Chance for a set piece as Romero's header goes in. Let's go, boys. We make it 3-1. As things stand, we're going to be in a Champions League final. Can we please not concede now? Because I don't want to be going into penalties. No, no. I just talked about not conceding. And that's exactly what we do. Honestly, Roma have given us one of the greatest ever Champions League games, boys. This is insane. We need to win this challenge. And Romero going strong. That's what I like. Just 10 minutes to go. If we can't find a goal here, this game's going pens. Oh, Leif Davis with incredible energy, but he's got no support unless Enketia can make that run. He can, and we've taken the lead in the 118th minute. What a run from Enketia. The extra energy helped him out there. And that's it. It's all done. We're through to the Champions League final. Bro, this was a classic. And I can't believe we pulled through. Fair play to Roma. They gave us a fight. But we were just about better than them. And now we have just one team to beat to win the Champions League. Of course, it's Man City. Meanwhile, the Premier League season comes to an end and City have won the league. We actually finished fifth outside the top four. And dire focus this year was on the Champions League, so I'm not surprised. This makes winning this Champions League even more important, because if we end up losing, I don't think we'll ever be able to achieve this again, because you know without the Champions League TV money, the board are going to sell all our best players, and yup, the project will be crushed. But honestly, I feel we've got what it takes to win this. Sancho should be fit now for this final. Yup, he is. We're going to put him instead of Hutchinson. Hutchinson did his job. We've built an incredible team. Just look at some of the ratings. Who would have thought Sami and would get up to an 89 overall. Henry Walker from the academy up to an 88. Enketia 87. Connor Chaplin 86. Five seasons of hard work and it all comes down to this. Bro, look at that City team. They've got Rodri, Haaland, Foden still playing for them. A few new regens and also we don't know how they're gonna be. Okay, this regen, Jamie Saavedra, he's 89 rated. Yo, this Man City team looks really good. Of course, we're gonna have to make some tough calls in this final. I'm sticking with Walker and Mitchell. But of course, if we need the energy, Enketia and Chaplin will be there. Ooh. Oh, we're starting the Champions League with some naughty challenges. Okay, Man City definitely opening us up way too easily. Uh, oh, what a pass that was from Haaland. Unplayable as we're already a goal down. I'll be honest, guys. In a million years, I did not see that back heel from Haaland. It just 
completely threw me off. But that's the Man City team we're dealing with. In six minutes, they've scored in a Champions League final. By the way, Jaden Sancho was in the Man City Academy too, so he would love to score in this game, I think. What we need to do here is not get faced by the scoreline. I know we conceded early, but we're capable of doing comebacks. Let's just keep this game tight. I'm so glad Sancho's back from his injury because he can play passes like that. And now Mitchell is 1v1. He's going to make the most of it. Of course he is. That's why he's a starter here at Ipswich Town. It is all square in this Champions League final. 20 minutes of madness already. Oh, look at the space. This is what Man City do. They use a high line, but with players like Mitchell, we can bypass it. Can Mitchell score though? Edison with a good save. And that's halftime in a Champions League final. It's been close, man. I think whoever scores the next goal, they might just end up winning it. Not from across like that. No, Alex Garcia missed. He's missed a sitter. I cannot believe he's missed an empty net from there. This could be the reason we win the Champions League. Unbelievable miss. Mitchell sees the run of Leif Davis, and this could be massive. Our left back is running with everything he's got. Plays a good pass for Sancho with the dagger. Ipswich down. Get the lead in the Champions League final. Honestly, I didn't think Leif Davis was going to get there, but he just about did. And what a finish from Sancho that was. Also, we're making a change. The captain is coming on. We need him on the pitch to wrap things up. No, 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 not this easily. Not this easily, man. We've just gifted City a way back into the game. But we've got a chance to win it too here. Sarmiento is on a mazy run. Keeps scoring himself. Looking for the cutback. Chaplin, no. He should have scored. No way, man. If they would have scored in the 90th minute there, I would legit be in tears right now. Once again, a Champions League game for us going to extra time. And you know what? I think we need to employ the same strategy. Enketia needs to come on now. That extra energy could be what wins us the Champions League. Mitchell has done his job. He scored in this game. It's now Enketia, your turn. Bro, tired legs everywhere. And that could result in us winning the Champions League. Connor Chaplin has gone through. But what was that for a shot? At this rate, this is going to penalties. Or worse, Man City could end up winning this at the end. That would be the worst thing to ever happen to this club here. But we make the tackle. And I think we're just about safe. This game is done. Penalties it is to decide who wins the Champions League. This is actually painful. First ever Champions League trophy for Ipswich down. They're going to have to beat Man City in penalties to win it. We're starting off with the Brazilian Jao Gomez. What a signing he's been for us. But he misses. And one thing you know is Erling Holland. He's missed too. I can't believe Holland's missed. That gives me a bit of hope. Enkidia has come on. And he's put his penalty home. Now, we've somehow got the advantage. Can we save another pen too? We can't. Not this one. Come on, Sancho. Score against your former academy club. Put this in. He's done it. Man City, you just got to miss one more penalty. And Patterson with the save. Captain Connor Chaplin could put us effectively into the lead for the trophy. And he's done exactly that. If we save this next penalty from Foden, Ipswich down are going to be Champions League winners. Is that going to happen? Not yet, not yet. Foden scores. It's Archie Gray, the midfielder we signed, who was effectively our captain this season too. It's his chance to be the hero. Can he score this penalty and win us the Champions League? He can. We finally made Ipswich Down Champions League winners. Five seasons of hard work and we've made it happen. Man, this feels so satisfying. Who remembers the days when we were just the newly promoted club? fighting relegation, seeing our players being sold. Five years later, though, we built an incredible team and have won the Champions League. Connor Chaplin lifts the Champions League as we make him switch down the world's best club. What a series this has been. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back for my next managerial job.